One of the other things that you're going to have to put into your work from time to time is going to be foliage and sort of trees and shrubs and plants and stuff. And it's quite a common thing to do nowadays. And 3D Studio Max and 3D Studio Max Design offers you the ability to add these in very, very quickly and very, very simply. They are very, very sort of simplistic um, sort of trees and what have you. Um, but they're pretty good and they will get you up and running very, very quickly. So I'm in my Create Geometry Foliage section here. And as you can see, I've got this whole drop down list of whatever I might want to put in. So, for example, let's have a, a Japanese flowering cherry tree in spring. And all I need to do is to click once in my scene, and there it is. So, we have got this complete tree that it may not look as if there's anything there at the moment, but if I were to press the render button, there we go. And let me see, we haven't got, I can't really see that very well. Okay, but there is a tree there, uh, nevertheless. And if I want to make a change to this tree at all, all I need to do is to go to my modify panel and I can change the height so we can have a really very big tree, which is probably bigger than the apartment itself. Uh, I can prune the tree back, <laughs> which can give me some um, very, very funny results. I do quite like some of the results that we get here. Uh, let's take that pruning right the way back down. You can type new seed, so you have an individual tree, which is always useful. We can show or not show leaves or fruit or flowers or roots. We can take all of this off and just sort of just have this sort of rather gnarled looking um, looking branch here. Just have a forest full of trunks. And when we do have all of this on, we can have something called a canopy mode. So when I don't have this selected, uh, it goes into what's called canopy mode which is a lot easier on your viewport and your graphics card unless you're using quite a powerful one like I am. Or you can say it's always in canopy mode regardless of whether I've got it selected or not or it's never in canopy mode. And I can always have a level of detail as low, medium or high. And really that's about all there is to it. If I delete this one off, what I might want to do is say foliage and in terms of um, this balcony, I don't know, we might want to put a palm tree in there, or we might have a yucca plant, I don't know. Um, we've certainly got a big yucca here. I think possibly we're going to have some palm trees, just for a bit of fun. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to turn on my auto grid, so I always find the surface here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm in a really good position so I can see the whole of the balcony there. That's good, and I'm going to put one palm tree there, and I'm going to put another palm tree just here. And these both look remarkably identical. So what I'll do is I will just select them, and I'll go to my Modify tab, and what I'm going to do is just press New Seed. There we go. And what I've now got is one that looks remarkably the same, actually, despite the fact it's a random seed. There we go, let's just turn it around there. We've got two palm trees here on the balcony, growing on the balcony. Just adding that extra bit of detail into our scene. Really nice, really simple, didn't take me long to do at all. And there you go, you know, you can just use them to add in that extra detail as you need it.